Hey everyone, David Shapiro here for another episode of the uh, Raven AGI channel. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to get started with Raven AGI. Uh, it's pretty simple. There's only one major prerequisite that you need, and that is that you'll need access to OpenAI. So OpenAI created GPT-3, uh, which is at present the only cognitive engine powerful enough to run Raven. I'm sure there's going to be competitors in the future, and also, unfortunately, right now, OpenAI is still in beta, which means that you need to sign up to get access, uh, but I personally anticipate that it will go live by the end of 2021, uh, certainly uh, within uh, 2022, um, and then there will also be competitors. I know Google and Amazon and a few others are working on similar transformers, uh, generative pre-trained transformers like GPT-3. Um, and of course, uh, OpenAI will probably be working on, on other services. So unfortunately, like I said, right now, this is the only one capable of running Raven. So this is where we've got to go. So you go to OpenAI, uh, sorry, beta.openai.com. You click join the wait list, and then you fill this out. You fill out the form. Um, uh, most of it is pretty standard. Um, and the one, one tip that I'll give is that you should probably um, give as much detail as possible. Um, don't just, you know, not just one or two sentences. Like, you've got, you've got a big text field. So you can, um, you give, give a lot of detail. That's what I did. Um, I gave a link to my work, um, and, and that's how I got approved. So uh, once, you, once you submit that, it did take a few months, so just to set expectations, I think it took about six months before I got uh, approval. Um, to be fair, though, I did I did submit approval almost immediately after it became available, um, so it took a while. Um, but I did get approved, and I got my API key. Um, once you get approved, you'll get a welcome letter. They'll invite you to the Slack channel, um, and then you can go into your settings and get your API key. So once you get your OpenAI API key, um, then what you want to do is you come over to the public repo for Raven, the MVP, which is minimum viable product. So remember, this is just this is the base, the bare bones version of Raven. Um, there's going to be a lot of improvements to Raven over the coming years. So you go to GitHub.com slash Dave Schapp slash Raven MVP. Click on the code button, the big green button. They make it easy to find. Click on the clipboard, or you can just click on the, uh, the text box and copy. And then open up a command prompt, and you do git clone. Um, oh, I'm also assuming that you have git installed. I'll show you where to get that in just a second. So you do git clone, and you download it um, to gitm.com, and then you can get it there. Um, all right, so once you get this clone down, cd into raven mvp, dir. So you can see it gives, gives us a few files. We'll do explorer. Um, C Raven MVP. Okay, so here's what it'll look like. You can run this on Windows or Linux or Mac or whatever, as long as you've got Python. Um, there is one requirement that you have to install, um, and that's here. It's just OpenAI. So once you, if you've got Python installed, it's really easy. You just do pip install OpenAI, and all this does is act as a as a easy set of bindings to talk to the API. You can also do it with curl or, uh, or your own um, uh, rest requests, um, but their, their, little, their little module is pretty simple. Um, so I've already got it installed, but it's just these three things, pip install OpenAI. Um, and I also have all this on the uh, readme page here. Um, I think that I don't have the, uh, the install requirement, so I'll add that. Um, but yeah, so once you get to that point, you're pretty much all set. You've got the code downloaded, you've got your access to the key, um, and then you've got the uh, you've got this. So the last thing that you need to do is you have to create uh, this text file. Um, it'll be called OpenAI API Key dot text. Um, this is mine. I'm not going to show you what my API key is, but I'll just copy it in. Um, and this is what the services will use in order to authenticate to OpenAI. Um, and this will give you access to GPT-3. So then what you do, once you've got all this set up, you've got your API key, you've got the code, you've got OpenAI installed, you just do Python service nexus. And there you see it's, it's running. It says 
uh, service flask app nexus, lazy loading, yada yada. Um, away it goes. Here's the Raven MVP. And it's running. And there you have it. You are ready to go. You could go ahead and put in any context you want. You could say, Mary had a little lamb, and then see what Raven wants to do. I'm not going to do that because I'm, I'm not going to waste my tokens. But uh, there you have it. You know, I started from nothing uh, this morning. I showed you the, the, the entire process start to finish to get started with Raven. Um, so good luck, and uh, I, hope that, uh, I hope that everyone has some fun and, and starts participating in the research. Thanks for watching.